Hello, I'm Steve Sharp, Senior Technical Marketing Manager at Aleph Semiconductor. We're going to take a look today at our Ensemble Fusion processors and how they integrate with the Edge Impulse environment. The Ensemble Fusion processors are a family of scalable processors ranging from one core to four cores, optimized for very low power. They have a host of peripheral features and onboard non-volatile and random access memory. And they have a secure element which controls all the secure boot and security policies within the chip. Very important though are the Ethos U55 accelerators. We have two Cortex M55s in here, one of which has a 128 Mac Ethos U55 and a high performance version operating at a faster clock rate with a 256 Mac U55. So we're gonna take a look now at how this hooks into the Edge Impulse environment. I've got running on the screen here <laughs> a FOMO face detection algorithm. And if I point it here, you can see that it will detect elements of my face. Now this is operating at about a four millisecond inference time. So it's a little bit over 70 frames per second, which is over an order of magnitude faster than you'll get with any other MCU. Now we'll also take a look at how this board, which is a certified element within Edge Impulse, can be used to actually capture data for your design. So now we've connected to the board with the Edge Impulse Studio, and you can see here we're starting to get some data appearing on the screen. And so if I want to capture an image to put into my design, we've now captured that image, and we could go ahead and draw a bounding box around it. Now, as you move into the design, and you want to take a look at what your performance is, it'll give you an estimate of what inference time is with this particular design. And so with this FOMO model, it's telling me one millisecond. That's a little bit optimistic. It actually takes about three milliseconds, but that's still incredibly fast. And if I wanted to, for instance, take a look at a YOLO model instead, a more complex model, but here it takes about four milliseconds. Now, in addition, if we wanted to compare, this is the advantage of Edge Impulse, the Aleph device with say a generic Cortex M7, Instead of four milliseconds, it's over 200 milliseconds, which is over an order of magnitude, close to two orders of magnitude, uh, better than the M7. So now going back to the Aleph design, when we want to deploy this, we've got a choice of several different ways we can deploy the model. You can select a generic C++ library to integrate into your design. But since we have the Ethos accelerators, we probably would use the Ethos library which takes advantage of the U55 accelerators. Since the Aleph uh, Ensemble board is uh, integrated into uh, Edge Impulse, we can select the E7 kit and it will give us a binary ready to load onto the board, which is what we've been doing. We've been running this model here. So once again, uh, you have the advantage of being able to explore different solutions and just see how much faster these low power MCUs can be than anything. The major advantage that uh, Aleph offers is being able to take uh, MCU type of AI, what we call tiny ML, and move it up into functions that are normally used on server type solutions operating at much higher clock rates and much higher power, but achieving the kind of performance that you normally would associate with a cloud application or a high performance uh, multi-core, multi-gigahertz processor and do it on a low power MCU. For more information, uh, please visit the Aleph website at alephsemi.com or go to Edge Impulse and you can look at the instructions for how to integrate your Aleph board with Edge Impulse.